the week. And so we're just going to get into it. And um, we decided to do the asparagus risotto because it is spring and it's one of the first vegetables that um, we all kind of crave at this time of year that's not imported from another country. And, uh, you know, in the olden days, people didn't actually have asparagus in January and February. They waited until the harvest, uh, the early spring harvest. And um, does anybody know um, what family an asparagus plant is from? All right, Lily. <laughs> so we're just going to get right into this. It's pretty... Oh, is that it? Thank you. <laughs> we can't hear you up here. <laughs> So um, we're going to get right into this. I think most of you have recipes, but if you don't, um, everybody has one? Okay. So pretty simple. We uh, start with about um, a tablespoon of butter and olive oil. Some people just do butter. Uh, I like doing both. Um, else we're going to add anywhere between you know, a half to three quarters of a cup of shallots and onion mixture because or you could do shallots alone, onions alone. Really, cooking from you know heirloom recipes is really about concocting. And so if you don't have shallots on hand and you have onions, use onions. It's that simple. And um, But this time I figured I'd use both. Yeah. Chives, beautiful. You could even put garlic in. I mean, the point about you know cooking from like you know, the way our grandmothers did is that you cook from the heart. You you cook from, you know, like just doing it all the time and experiment. I'm going to encourage everybody to experiment because I gave you a guide. Use the recipe as a guide. So, I mean, certain things I think make sense with this recipe is that, you know, a certain amount of rice with a certain amount of liquid will create the perfect consistency, but you're going to have, it's, it's an art, not a science. So, I think you guys can see what's going on in here. Um, are we ready? Yep. All right. Here we go. So, so right now, this is going to, uh, we want to cook these until the onions and the shallots are translucent.